Okay then, so on to mission four. Next operation indeed. I can't wait to get to the cyber missions because I want to build boats with legs. That's all I want. I want to build boats with legs. The UEF is doing what it does best. They sent a small force to take over this geothermal energy facility as the first part of an invasion of Sirius 4. <sighs> Typical. If we can stop the attack, the Guardians think it'll increase their popularity with the public. If they're looking for a PR boost? Is saving the planet a secondary benefit? Isn't every war about PR? Get a base up and running while I plug into the security system to see what we're up against. This isn't good at all. The UEF has a much larger force here than expected. Alpha base is northeast of your position. Its commander has assembled a massive land force. Bravo base is due north, and that situation is even worse. Its commander has an enormous air force. I'm starting to find this planet very uninviting. I'm gonna let the Guardians know that we need some help, and fast. Okay, so north is air, and to our right, to the east, is land. Well, at least that makes it easy for us to do the defensive thing. Let's get those up. Let's do a few P gens. The UEF takes what it wants. Do not already. Oh, those are um, those are research stations. Whoops. But we need those too, so that's okay. I did it again. Hold on. Hold on. I'll get there. Five P gens. Awesome sauce. Get all that done. We've got a radar installation pre-built for our amusements. And that tickles my fancy. So I have a confession to make. Do you guys notice anything about this map? I mean, this situation just went from bad to worse. I'm picking up an incoming cybern. What's uh -oh. a chip head doing out here? Please excuse me for presuming to speak to you without an introduction. I am William Gage. The Guardians gated me in from Altair 2 to provide assistance on this operation. I will quickly dispose of these approaching forces. We're working with a cyber? Interesting. What's going on here? He's saving our bacon, sister. Not Can really. I mean, I had that totally under Kale. control. Thank you for your assistance. Greetings, Miss Kale. I look forward to this opportunity to work with someone like yourself. Things are about to get interesting. So, as I was saying, do you notice anything in particular about this map? It looks kind of like a four-way battle of Thermopylae, right? Focus on building anti-air towers and a land force. Yeah, we need uh need lots of things. Okay, so we're going to build some anti-air on the outside edge. Commander Gage, what Yes, were that's doing kind of random, I know. Too? I was investigating something the coalition calls Shiva Prime. What's that? It's a secret. You sound just a little bit insane there, bud. Just a little bit insane. Okay, so this was like my favorite map on the uh, multiplayer on Xbox One because sister. you would do this on 20 minute no rush and the circle would exactly cover your base is basically how it went. And so you would end up with this awesome situation where you were out of teleport range even for ACUs. You just rush for the entire 20 minutes and build anti-nuke and you're totally fine. And I don't think the T3 artillery even reached to the other side. I think the T3 artillery only reached to the side ones. So if you started across from each other, you didn't even have to worry about artillery until after the game started. So it was, yeah, it was definitely a turtle map and totally bad play style. And I learned very, very many nasty habits from it. But I had a lot of fun. And isn't that what's important? Anyway, we need to be doing some upgrades. So under structures, do we have, we do not... Enables, oh, I forgot about this. Sweet. Okay, so our power generators are also electroshock turrets, which is kind of awesome. And then the land factory and air factories can increase the regeneration of nearby units with healing nanite clouds. But 
I don't think any of that is important. We just want our bonuses to damage and the ability to build shields. And I think that's all I care about. So we're going to do that. And then we're going to go over to the ACU and grab our economy upgrades because we need all of the mass and power producing thingamajiggers. And let's see, we've got mobile missile launchers, we've got a few tanks, no Harvogs, of course, because they could not be too nice to us. And we're going to creep up the middle just a little bit because I want, with all of my heart, to get some reclaim. I mean, that's what it's all about, right? So we're going to grab some reclaim. I might have to send my ACU in to fight. We're going to build that and then walk up to the front because I'm pretty sure I can just hold this with my commander. It's not going to be that big of a deal. We're rapidly losing out on our tanks, so that's less than ideal, but uh, we're going to make it work. We're absolutely going to make it work. Do, 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 do. do I not have the ability to upgrade anti-air? If things were right, we'd be locked up in that prison. Ah, I have it already. This guy seems a bit off. Princess Burke made alliances with Brackman and the Cybrans in the past. I don't see an issue. All right, so I'm going to camp out right here. I don't really want to move up and take these two mass extractors quite yet because there are nasty things in the middle. So I'm just going to kind of hang out here for the moment and just let things build up, do some teching, that kind of thing. I do think, though, that now that we are done with the rest of this stuff, we should probably go for some of this. Because we are going to need a whole lot of tech very, very of quickly. Should prove sufficient for taking control of the central area of this facility. Commander, well, then do it. On from this side. Please feel free to contact me if you need additional assistance, or if you just wish to chat. I do enjoy a good chat. I, you give me the creeps, dude. Like Commander, seriously, lay off. <laughs> Okay, we need to get our ACU upgrades rolling as soon as we get some more points in because I need that shield that does oh so good a job of protecting us from the nasties. And all of you engineers, once you get done with that, we need to patrol and we can suck up all of these tasty bomber carcasses as they fall from the sky. And we got all of those, so our next one would be here for seven adds a personal shield. So we're going to have to wait a couple minutes on that. Alrighty then. He is building away on his Megalith. I think we should probably get some air support because I would assume Commander that as attack. soon as those AC, or not AC-1000s, as soon as those Megaliths move towards the center, the AC-1000s are of course Megaliths going to come out of the, the base and murder them. The facility. Would you consider supporting them with some of your own Commander air under attack. I absolutely would if I actually had some air forces. Like, that is my main problem right now. So, we're just going to uh, pretend that we have air and build an air factory and actually make some air. Commander so, there's our air attack. factory. Let's go build another air factory. And a third air factory. And then all of you fine fellows can do some patrolling to your heart's content. We need to grab that shield. There we go. Now we're not quite in such danger of falling flat on our faces and dying horribly. So that is fine and dandy. I really do not understand how or why the shield does what it does. Seems very strange. Why? What? What? What the crap, dude? Commander under attack. So many unclickable places here. Very strange. Very strange indeed. All right, so we've got all that set. Megaliths up in the front. Let's start building some Weedaboths. I know, it's we do boths, but whatever. Okay, Megalith has taken the middle. That means we can move up. Massive enemy airstrike inbound from Bravo. Uh-oh. Might I suggest... You construct some Commander fighter under attack. to handle the gunships in the north. He's right. They you can suggest that. Gunships. I guess we're taking orders from Cybrans now, too. I 
might need to retreat. Holy cow, that's a lot of AC-1000s. Okay, I'm gonna back up because I don't want my ACU to get out there and get sniped. I've got a ton of anti-air in my base, which I think should be more than sufficient to stop that. Though I have to admit that their explosions were quite spectacular. Now that I can agree with. That I can definitely agree with. And a, a good explosion is a good way to end any freaking day. Let's just build some anti-air, right? Uh, mobile anti-air guns. We're going to do that. On repeat. Out to the middle. Maybe an engineer and a couple more anti-air guns. Because we do want to grab that reclaim when we are able to. And there's the overcharge ability. We will be able to use on our ACU to great effect, I am sure. So that was pretty much the entirety of his forces gunships. So as soon as we start, uh... As soon as we start really knocking away with these factories, why are you not building? I would like you to actually build. Thank you very much. Which one has the build order? And where did you go? There we go. Anti-missile anti units. I have anti-missile units. Really? What is this madness and why didn't I know about it before? Alright, so we've got our fighter bomber squads up. That will work out well. We need to reclaim in the middle to maintain our resources. And very, very soon I'm going to go out and grab those things. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and queue up to the front. And we're going to grab our anti-air and go up to the front. And we're going to grab our remaining tanks and units and go up to the front. And probably go with our ACU as well, because I can use him to build up some anti-air and provide a front guard. So, we're going to want to reclaim as much as we possibly can in the middle. I'm sure there's some very valuable wreckages out there. And while we have our fighters available, we're going to go out here and kill off this crap. There we go. And come back. Okay, so to the earlier discussion, it was a pretty awesome multiplayer map for the express purpose of turtling because you could fit in there were actually build orders floating around where basically the entire thing boiled down to finding the most efficient possible manner of fitting as many buildings as possible into this little uh, pentagon here no it's a hexagon no it's not one two three four five six seven sides three four five six seven eight sides octagon I cannot count Anyway, it was fitting as many buildings as possible into that octagon. And it actually was kind of fun to fit everything together, like playing Tetris with buildings. It was a different experience, that is for sure. Alright, so we're going to build some anti-air here. Obviously, we're going to get a pile more anti-air with the mobile anti-air that is moving in. And we will have the coverage of all of our lovely little fighters that are getting built in the back end there. So, you engineer, you have now finished cleaning up the wreckage. We're going to take you and we're going to build a couple of mass extractors up on the front. Going to increase our income. Let's go ahead and grab the last two upgrades for veterancy on our ACU. And then we're going to go back over to structures and realize that there is actually nothing there that we can build that does any good. And we're going to go over to land and maybe grab a couple of upgrades there as well. Maybe I should get the teleport. Who knows? We'll see. I can teleport a fair distance with my ACU, which works out pretty dang well. But at the moment, we're not going to be able to make super good use of that. We are, however, going to be able to move up and take care of these units with a handy-dandy bit of overcharging. And now that should work out quite spectacularly for itself. And we also have the Megalith there, which is probably going to breach the base this time around since we actually have a little bit of anti-air to cover it. It does do such wonders for your game when you actually follow the mission objectives and do what you're told and do things that will give you a victory condition. As I found out on Total Warhammer last night, since, uh, yeah, I did not even know that it had you victory condition. Shame Some sort of on me. Cannon. That can't be good. Uh-oh. So, what kind of large cannon are we talking about here? That could be very, very bad for us. That is a unit cannon. So he's about to start launching units back at the base. Oh, good lord. Build point defense. 
And perhaps I'll grant you an honorable death. Build point defense now. Where's my other engineer? Right over here. Your tenacity is admirable, but the outcome of this battle was determined long ago. All right, Commander we got plenty of point defense laid down. Now. No, 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 no. None of that now. Um, can we actually kill him? I mean, we have a lot of fighter bombers. I mean, a lot of fighter bombers. And ACUs are rather fragile. So, maybe? No. No, he is not. Okay, we're going to keep collecting. We're going to be ashamed of ourselves for wasting so many fighter bombers in such a futile mission. And just carry on with our lives. Alright, so we're going to build a anti-air turret right there. Please? Thank you. Nope. Not going to build it. Alright, we're going to patrol. We need to grab as many of these wrecks as we possibly can in order to increase our coffers. And for the time being, we're just going to move everybody forward. That should work, right? Alpha is vulnerable to a land-based attack. Keep your air away for now. Alpha is vulnerable to land. Ah, because he has mostly anti-air. Is that what he's talking about? Which one is Alpha and which one is Bravo? I know not. So we need to... <gasps> we have a Universal Colossus! What? I did not even see that. Oh, yes. This is what I am building. Because we need a Universal Colossus in our lives right now, yesterday. So, the unit cannon does not appear to be loading and or actually firing. So, that's interesting. Let's, uh, let's keep our air away for a minute here. Really dropped the ball on that one, but uh, it's, it's going to be okay. We're going to move up and overcharge all these guys to death and take their wreckage as well. Um... Let's just let you finish this one and that one. And you finish that one and under that one. Yes, yes, I know. It is a thing and I can overcharge it to death. One shot, one kill with huge amounts of AoE. So I have just realized that over here, my lovely teammates in the red Actually, he's in yellow, but he is Cybern, and we all know that they're red at heart. He is not using his forward mass extractor, so I am going to take them off of his hands and utilize them quite fully because they need to be utilized. So we're going to build those two mass extractors, we're going to build a couple of anti-airs, and we are last but certainly not least going to build a shield over top of all of it. Does that sound like a plan? There is a megalith approaching the base, so that means we should probably run forward and defend it from the oncoming tide of gunships. I probably should have sent all my mobile anti-air up there as well. That would have been useful. Send it all up. Hey, AC-1000, I would like to terrorize you for a change. Let's see how much of a damage we can do to it before the anti-air turrets wreck all of our fun although it does look like they're coming out of the base so that does help our chances quite a bit this actually looks like fully simulated projectile stuff because um it was fired at one ac-1000 and it impacted the other so apparently projectiles to a certain degree do get affected by intervening hitboxes that is quite intriguing we're gonna move our acu up we're going to try to grab the two and mass the extractors on that side. Enjoy the pleasure of your company. And think about place. actually moving forward and finishing this mission. So we've got 12. Let's go ahead and get the firepower upgrade. Maybe the regen upgrade. Probably want to get the shielding upgrades. That would also be assisting wonderful things. Let's go ahead and move you up. And we will very soon, I think, have enough fighter bombers to actually snipe the ACU. I'm going to come back down. We've got troop movement over here, which I will proceed to overcharge to death. 
And I think the only, um, the only real threat here is from land. So if I overcharge these guys and just build some point defenses, well, no, he has mobile missile launcher, so he will actually kill all the point defense. That is unfortunate. So let's back up here, build those, and we will get back down on the front line, down and dirty. Let's move our anti-air up and grab all our bombers. I am I am fully prepared, I feel. There is a megalith in my midst, which I will use as a meat shield to protect my anti-air as it violently discourages any air from coming in contact with this lovely megalith experimental that I am trying so very hard to protect and utterly failing to do. However, I am going to get an AC-1000 kill out of this because they are all going to stay out in front of the base, killing off my anti-air, and it's a wonderful thing. There goes one. Here goes another. And then they're going to stay and shred all of the gunships as well, which means that the next AC... Or not the AC, the next Megalith that comes through is in fact going to penetrate the base. Penetrate it hard, penetrate it from the front. We can probably stop building engineers and anti-air units now. However, we should also consider that. And all of you fine fellows... Move up to the front and start a reclaiming because reclaim is where it's at. All right, all you guys moving up. Almost all the gunships are eliminated now. This is going to work out quite well for us. Okay. We're going to select and kill the last few rounds of gunships here. Just to make sure that the problem goes away for good. Bam! Anti-air following up from the rear should do a fantastic job cleaning up any stragglers. And we should probably go ahead and grab the shielding. And then we will grab the Galactic Colossus next time around. So the units might actually get over there before my mechs gets done. But I think we can... I think we can come to an agreement on my firing patterns. And they will all die horrible, horrible, horrible deaths. So all of my anti-air is gone. Or not all of my anti-air. All of my fighter bombers are gone. That is rather discouraging. So we're going to bring back the anti-air. And apparently, we're going to have to wait for another day and go at it again. So ACU to the front. We are all good here. And we are going to patrol in a very small little circle here, trying to grab as much mass as we possibly can. So we're finally outrunning what we have to do. And let me get the Galactic Colossus is 15 research points. Holy cow. All right, so that's going to be less than ideal. Let's move the anti-air up to the front as our engineers are struggling to survive. And pick off all of these gunships with our air. Good freaking dealio. Actually, the engineers are serving a purpose here because they're drawing all of the gunships out of the base and away from the protecting anti-air so that we can actually do something to kill them without losing all of our fighter bombers all at once. So is there a megalith stuck in the factory? Because there are three dots and I'm not sure why. There is one stuck in the factory, yes. That is why we have not had a megalith come to our aid in quite some time. Ye oh, oh, look, it's got trapped again. Oh no, it made it out. Okay, so we're gonna get two, two megaliths for the price of one now. Two megaliths for one. Awesome. Subcom, so silly. So silly. All right, you need to move up. Thank you very much. And reclaim or patrol, whatever the case may be. Leave my little engies alone. Just leave them alone. Actually, gunships are being produced quite quickly. I think I have enough fighter bombers to just go for the commander now. Let's let's try it. We have 29 we do boths. So let's just uh, let's just snipe that son of a gun. He's walking in circles around his Noah cannon like a badass. Oh no, look. 
It, nope, nope, nope. I, I gotta walk in circles around this, you know, a cannon. Nope, 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 nope. I'm gonna run away from the fighter bombers. And the shield protected from all but one of the bombs. That is some pitiful DPS. Come on, you can do better than that. There are a lot of shields there, that's why. Holy cow. Why is, okay, never mind. I see it. Nothing an overcharge can't fix. All right, so that was a total epic fail. Let's try to kill the shield gen before it comes back online. He is probably just going to rebuild it and now we have no air force. Crap. All right, research the Galactic Colossus, and we'll get an experimental gantry online. Can't wait to see this take on someone other than me. There we go. Oh, look. There are artillery shells coming down on my ACU. That is less than ideal. So we need to save these guys. There are two megaliths. Not one, but freaking two. And we definitely need to get all up in there. Um, you, Mr. Engineer, need to come and finish off this building that was so terribly delayed when they decided to go after my engineer instead of the megaliths that were approaching their base. Because that absolutely makes sense. Get up here. Drop those gunships out of the sky. Save these megaliths alive. All right, the ACU is right over there. I would greatly appreciate it if you actually attack something other than a factory, which is absolutely useless in the point defense or killing your megalith. And uh, 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 just stop. Uh, I'm gonna have to do this all myself, aren't I? Okay, so we're going to start producing loads of anti-air and anti-air only, which is going to go to the middle to be paired with all of the future fighter bombers that are coming to my aid. And we are going to start ourselves a Universal Colossus build on repeat. We're going to grab some assistance. Where's all my engineers at? All two of you, come and assist. I need you to build this quickly. Um, but um, bum bum. Yeah, three factories building air units. Galactic Colossus coming out. I should have the Galactic Colossus popping out of the factory about the same time that yet another double team of Megalus comes out because there is another pair stuck in the factory and we'll be good. Doodle -do 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 -do. Ah, it was not in fact stuck in the factory. Commander under attack. But there is one coming out now. Oh, hello. I would like to melt your faces off with an overcharge. Hope you don't mind. I mean, it is such an inconvenience, after all, to have to expend the power to kill you, but uh, we'll, we'll make room for it. Okay, Universal Colossus, I need you to stop taking a knee and get out of your hole in the ground. Oh, I forgot, I can release them half-baked. Launch half-baked. Bam! Wake up. Come to the surface, my friend. Why do you have to walk out of that side of the gantry? I need you to come there. All right, good deal. You should be able to heal most of the way by the time you walk to the middle. So I think that'll be good. Oh, I forgot. They stun frequently when they launch half-baked. I was wondering about that. Dang it. Oh, well. It'll all be okay. He'll get there eventually in that uh, increased or decrease the build time of the next unit, so. Uh, sigh. That is actually pretty brutal. I don't remember them pausing that much when I half-baked them before. I gotta say, I've half-baked a lot of AC-1000s in my day. It was actually kind of hilarious because the AC-1000s, when they stun like that, when you launch them half-baked, they actually just stop in the air. They stop flying. Just freeze actually realistically speaking it's exactly the same as the fa version of events so i suppose it shouldn't be that surprising 
I should probably be saving this megalith. But just proceeding forward without my assistance, and is in fact paying for it with his life. Alright, Universal Colossus is not stunning anymore, and he should catch up to and run even with that Megalith, except for the fact that he is very, very slow indeed. And slower when he is being stunned. I'll just knock it off. I'm not sure why the ACU gets stuck just like circling things, but it's kind of hilarious. All right, gonna walk back. You're gonna walk up. Commander under attack. Good deal. Go back on patrol and suck up all that reclaim. All right, so most of the uh, most of the stuff back here is dead. There's a few gunships left. I'm gonna go ahead and target the gunships so that. Ideally, the Megalith will survive some. But my fighter bombers are hitting the shields, so that is rather annoying. There we go. Now they've come out to play. He actually has shields on his gunships. That is a beautiful thing. That is absolutely a beautiful thing. Okay, so we're going to move the Galactic Colossus right up here. We're going to wait for Galactic Colossus number two. I will actually be able to coordinate my own units. Wait. You're fully healed and you still have the stun problem. What the crap? That is not fair. I thought you would stop having the stun issue once you got to full health. Maybe? Maybe. Nope, still stunning. Well, that's useless. It's gonna ha take him half the day to cross the map and then he's gonna be useless for combat once he gets there. I am never launching a half-baked Galactic Colossus again. I'm just gonna have to stand here and soak damage while he comes in for me. At least I'm gonna kill a wave of gunships for that. That's good. And this guy will be in the base by the time he reaches it. Maybe we'll at least do enough damage for the following Megalith to finish the base off. I think this one's going to be super easy to actually kill. Super duper easy. Alright, you need to back up, good sir. Because you are under fire from some artillery. Stupid artillery mess. Alright, we're going to start eliminating these shield gens. Because the shield gens are the source of most of my problems in this world. Look at that, my other Universal Colossus is just about caught up. I think this is the end, folks. The Universal Colossus is simply way, way beefier than its little brother, the Megalith. Or that sad excuse that passes for a Megalith in Supreme Commander 2. Alright, let's start building some engineers. Get some engineers over there. So we can reclaim that crap. I would like you to just focus fire the commander. Because he needs to die to beams front and back. It's actually a really cool laser effect. Die. Die, Mosley. Impressive work, Thalia Kale. Good dealio. Why do I get the feeling? Wait. The nuke took out both of my... Both of my Universal Colossus? Really? Oh, screw you. Alright, we gotta kill those. And that. 
And that. Good lord, how much damage does that do? That is just ridiculous. Alright, so the unit cannon actually drops them in front of my base, where the Universal Colossus will proceed to kill them all. So that's not bad at all. I believe these units of mine can provide you some assistance in taking control of this base. Okay. So we're going to get out here into the middle of things, and actually that Megalith is just going to finish the entire base off. Because there are no other anti-ground units left. So even though I lost my entire air force doing that, it is not a total loss. That'll work. Three shots. Three shots to kill all of them. So OP. So freaking OP. Alright, the GC has eliminated all things UEF. Let's go grab this mass extractor back. Because we did lose that. Grab those two mass extractors back. Because we did lose that and back the hell up from all of that artillery fire. Okay, you see? Almost said GC, but I know that's not correct. You need to back me up on this push here, bro. Little mini-me here is not going to be able to handle it. Actually, they look remarkably identical. Look at this. Look at this. If you replace the flags with the four spokes, I mean, they look exactly the same. Alright, we're just going to wade into the mess and do some overcharge. Overcharge to the rescue. I've got a full combat upgrade ACU. And I'm not afraid to use it. Okay, I'll stop singing. I will stop singing. You're right, I do need to research. I just glanced over there at the comments and that's the first one that I see. I'm just going to grab every single upgrade here. There we go. Everything is all better now. I should probably back up. Please tell me I did not go nuclear. Please tell me I did not go nuclear. I'm surprised you would use New Cathedral as a rallying cry. Good. What do you mean? A UEF commander successfully defended the city. I find this hard to believe. Believe it. And it gets better. After that, he took out UEF command by setting off a lovely <laughs> nuclear explosion. What is this commander's name? Nice. Maddox, I believe. Uh, Dominic Maddox? You know him? We went to school together. Lovely man. Turns out. Oh, how the threads are intertwined. He's married? While I'd love to sit here and gossip all day, we have places to go, things to do. Let us continue our adventures. Please don't make this into a love triangle. Please don't make this into a love triangle. I would, I would kill myself. Okay. <laughs> that is going to wrap up that mission. Let's go. I think we have time for the second to the last, if not the last Aeon mission. Let me take just a minute here, guys. Take a sip of water. Grab another cough drop. I will be right back. Prepare for Windows sound. 